Our story begins in the room of Willie Abel, a boy with a heart of gold and a mind of mud. The alarm clock rings and Willie is drawn out of his peaceful slumber and into the brand new day. Across town, a liquor store opens for business and in walks Penny Popples. After careful deliberation, she selects a piece of gum and is on her merry way. Back at Willie's house, we find him looking longingly at a photo of his favorite girl, Melody. He has a lunch date with her today in the park and he can't wait to tell her how he really feels about her. But what about Penny? Well, Penny's walking along in the park when she remembers the gum. Mmm. Happily she travels, chewing and skipping, skipping and chewing. And then... Ew. Penny gets up, brushes herself off, and skips right out of our story, leaving the gum to fend for itself in the cold, hard world. And where is Willie? Why, Willie is at the liquor store where he has found a particularly exciting magazine that he enjoys reading very much. Lucky Willie. Could life be better? I think not. And far from Willie's world lies the gum that Penny once held so dear. Whoa, that was close. Hey, she looks familiar. A short time passes and Willie arrives at the park. He makes his way to the bench where the young lady was waiting. The girl is none other than Melody, Willie's date. However, things are not all peaches and cream. Where were you? What? You're late again! You always keep me waiting around and quite frankly I'm sick of it. Don't you realize the world doesn't revolve around you? But- No, 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 no more buts, Willie. This was the last time. Uh... I've had it. It's over. I'm not gonna waste any more time waiting around for you. In fact, I'm not even gonna waste time with you. Goodbye, William Frankfurt Abel. Have a nice life. Poor Willie. She was the light of his life, and now she's gone forever. What is Willie to do? Oh my, it doesn't look like you're having a very good day. No. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You wouldn't happen to know the time, would you? 223. Gee, I better go. Potsy has an appointment at 3 with the groomer, and we don't want to be late, do we, Potsy? Ew, Potsy, come on, stop licking that gum. Potsy! It seems that Willie's day has gone from bad to worse. He leaves, and the gum is alone again. There it sits in the sun. Sad. Lonely. Forgotten. But its existence is once again threatened as here comes Pete Henderson, oblivious to the world, living only in the calm and comfort of his own mind. He is on a collision course, seemingly destined to squish the gum underneath his sneakered foot. Closer he comes. Closer. Closer. Until... Ooh, that looked painful. Well, at least the gum is all right. But poor Willie's not all right. You see, in his sorrow, Willie has decided to end his own life by letting a car crush his skull. But Kelly Fair, the owner of the car, has another idea. What the hell are you doing? I just want to die. What the hell are you talking about? Please, sir, just run me over. What? You're a goddamn idiot! Get the hell out of here! But... I said get out of here! Silly Willie. Can't he do anything right? But enough about Willie. What about the gum? 
Hey, are those Stanley Fine's shoes? Hmm, Stanley sure looks interested. Yum. I wonder... Could Stanley have so easily found the happiness that has eluded Willie? And Willie... Well, Willie's just decided to go home. He can't imagine what he did to deserve such a terrible day. He just wishes something, anything would happen to make his day a little brighter. Uh oh. Oh, this doesn't look good, Willie. What's this? Why, it's the gum. Yum. I think you'd better get out of here, Willie. It seems Willie may have found just what he was looking for after all. Who knows, maybe true happiness can only be derived from the simpler things in life, things like a piece of bubblegum. Maybe we all spend too much time worrying about what could have been rather than simply relaxing and enjoying the moment. Who knows, not me. I'm just a narrator, and this story's over. Goodbye, folks. Have a nice day.